The Federal Reserve stands pat. Not only did the central bank unanimously decide not to raise interest rates, but it also lowered its economic growth outlook. And if growth is anemic, don't expect as many interest rate increases. Not this year, not next, and not even in 2018. That is a big shift in the central bank's thinking since the Fed chair's last news conference. Hampton Pearson has more on what's changed and what the Fed is saying now. Halfway through 2016, Fed Chair Janet Yellen and her fellow monetary policy advisors are still on hold when it comes to raising key short-term interest rates. We really need to look at the data, and I can't pre-specify a timetable, so I'm, you know, not comfortable to say it's in the next meeting or two, but it could, it could be. It could be. The latest speed bump on the road to interest rate hikes, an anemic May jobs report part of a mixed economy in the eyes of the Fed, where the pace of job growth has slowed, while overall economic activity has picked up, due in part to increased spending. Now the labor market appears to have slowed down, and um, we need to assure ourselves that the underlying momentum in the economy has not diminished. There is also concern about the future of the European Union if Great Britain withdraws. The Brexit vote is just eight days away. It could have consequences in turn for the U.S. economic outlook that would be a factor in deciding on the appropriate path of policy. The vote for today's policy action was unanimous, with the odds increasing for just one rate hike this year. Policymakers are also lowering their long-term trajectory for rate hikes as well. Leading economists now see a Fed that is losing touch with the real economy. There is no excuse at a 4.7 percent unemployment rate to have a, a, a federal funds rate uh, which is negative in real terms and just, you know, between 25 and 50 basis points. There's no excuse for it. The uh, visibility of the uh, jobs number earlier this month and the noise around Brexit, I think, causes them to wait yet again. By the time of the next Fed meeting in late July, the Brexit vote will be history. And there'll be another batch of data, including another jobs report, also on the table. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.